guys, Alex here from Lay Space. Today we're going to run through how to build our side view sneaker cases. So the first step you want to do is you want to unpack all of your pieces and you want to check all of them for any damage that might have occurred during transit. If there are any damaged pieces, just take a photo and send it through to our support team and we'll get replacements sent out to you right away. You'll find a handy little graphic on the back of the boxes as well which runs through what each of these pieces are but I'll also explain it all in today's video. So just to run you through each of the pieces, on the side view cases we've got our side acrylic door here with a magnetic opening. We've got our base piece here as well, uh, which you can see with the extra rivets that stick out on the bottom. Our top piece, two identical side pieces, and the back wall as well. So the first thing you want to do is uh, you want to grab the two identical side pieces as well as the back wall. And you want to make sure that on the two side pieces there is a small hole that will be clipped onto the front at the end. So you want to make sure that they're facing outwards and they slide the back piece into them, like so, and then the other back piece, like so. And so that will leave you with a shell of what the side case is going to look like with the two front holes showing at the front end. So once you've got your shell constructed, what you're going to do is take your base piece and just make sure that this hole is facing the front because that's where the door's going to be laid up. Place it onto a sturdy surface and then you want to just slide it into the ridges on the bottom of the base and then work your way down towards the back and slowly clip it in. And you're going to need to use a little bit of force on each of these corners to get the clips to clip into place and then you're going to have to solve the base. And here is satisfying a click at each one. Just like that. And just make sure that all the clips are in from the front to the back. And then you've got your side pieces onto the base and you're ready to put the top on. So now that that's all clipped into the base, you're going to grab your top piece and just the same as before, you want to make sure that hole's facing the front. Line it up to the top, and you're just going to slowly work your way around each of the edges and clip it down and make sure that that's all securely clipped in. So you may hear some clicking sounds because each of these hinges clip into place. You may actually just need to work your way around each of the corners just to make sure that that's all very still. Once each of these clips is in, and you might actually see this is a problem that some people may encounter, not all of the clips on the hinge will actually go in. So you just need to work your way in and make sure that that's fully clipped in. Once you've got a solid piece, you'll be ready to put the front door on. So now you're ready for the final step, which is attaching the door to the case. So what we do is we just flip it up like this, grab our door, and just make sure that you're lining everything up, and then you're going to clip each side in, just as you have with all the others. And you're gonna hear these clicking sounds as each of the clips go in. One other thing to note is there's actually internal clips here as well, and if they're not clipped in properly, the door may not sit flush. So you wanna go around, open the door, and you wanna actually use your thumbs just to pinch that plastic together, the same as the top. And once you've got all that done, just give it a final push just to make sure that all these clips are in place, and then you've got your side door constructed. And so you notice that the door opens smoothly, and then it clips nice and flush with the case, and you're ready for the storage. So once you've got your case fully constructed, you'll be able to build the rest of them, and eventually once they're all finished, you can stack them on top of each other and you'll find that they lock into place perfectly. Each of the doors is functional with the magnet, and you'll notice that they sit flush. If your doors aren't sitting flush, the first thing to check will be those clips as we mentioned earlier. If you're having any issues with construction, just email us and we'll be able to provide further assistance. 